For the United States, foodborne illness kills 52, approximately 5,200 Americans every year, hospitalizes about 300,000 Americans a year, causes something on the order of 70 million illnesses a year. It's probably a bigger problem than most people realize. So you really need a technology that has the ability to pick out the pathogens that may be mixed in with the harmless bacterial flora. And we showed we could do that with infrared spectroscopy. Visible spectrum is approximately 0.4 to 0.7 microns in wavelength. For the research that we're doing, we operate at wavelengths between 2.5 microns and 25 microns. So this is our Fourier transform infrared spectrometer. And inside here, there's a light source that generates light from 2.5 to 25 microns. And it's piped into this infrared microscope that uses um, mirrors to focus the light instead of lenses that you have in a typical microscope. And it focuses the light down onto a, a sample that we placed here on a slide. And then the light um, is reflected off the top surface of the slide after various wavelengths are absorbed or not absorbed, depending on what's in the sample. Um, and the light comes back in through the microscope, back into the spectrometer. And the spectrometer measures the absorbance as a function of the wavelength of light. Every molecule has unique infrared spectral signature. There are certain wavelengths of light that a molecule likes to absorb and certain wavelengths it doesn't like to absorb. One of the things that we've been able to show is that we can use it to get very specific identification of microorganisms all the way down to the subspecies or strain level. We need to collect a lot of these spectra for all the different organisms that we want to identify. And then it's my job to write an algorithm that will take an unknown spectra and interpret it and say, yes, Listeria is present or Salmonella is present or E. coli is present. One of the advantages of infrared spectroscopy is we can give you a real-time test result so you can tell immediately if there's contamination in the food or not.